how to plot different data points on a map using Google Fusion tables. But here I want to work with the data that we have on diffid flights in 2011. And we notice that one of the things we have here is the travel date. And in order to visualize this, we can actually use a program called CartoDB and one of the functions they have called torque, which will show us day by day where diffid has been traveling. You see that it has a very nice fancy login page. And so the first thing that we need to do is upload our data set. Um, it's as simple as selecting a file and uh, hitting upload. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have diffid flight data and connect to database and we'll start uploading. You'll see it's importing down here. Great, so it's now uploaded our data, and what we can see here is that we have traveler date, and it's already actually listed it as a date. In case it hasn't done that, you might need to change the, uh, the type of column or what sort of information is contained here. But we already have that correctly inputted. Um, what we don't have is anything that geo-references any of these labels. Now we have already dealt with the latitude and longitude so we could ge uh, geographically reference this based on the departure or uh, latitude and longitude or the destination latitude and longitude. But I also wanted to show you something really clever about CartoDB because it will automatically geo-reference things for you. So what I want to do is I'm going to map the destination cities over time. So I'm just going to simply uh, geo-reference based on destination city and you can see that we can geo-reference based on lots of different things but let's go ahead and geo-reference based on city names and we can select the column destination city and we know what country it's in in case you know when we're talking about London we're not talking about London Ontario and Canada um, so we can pick destination country as well hit continue and it will automatically geo-reference. You can see down here it's listed it as geocoding. Great, so not quite all of our data points were geo-referenced, but a good number of them were. If we flip over into map view, we can now see points of everywhere that Diffid had traveled in 2011, according to this data at least. Now, how has that changed over time? One of the things that's really great about CartoDB, it's a very user-friendly interface. So we can cluster where a diffid has been traveling throughout the year. We could maybe do things based on how expensive it is on a choropleth map, um, things like that. But what we want to do is actually something called torque. And as you can see straight away, it starts to have dots flashing everywhere. Um, there are lots of different things that we can add to this to kind of tailor it uh, appropriately. One of the first things that we want to do is you see that this is just going uh, in a number of steps. But actually what we want to show is that that's travel date. And so when we select that, you'll see that this is now showing and it's going through. Okay, this is uh, October, November, December is coming up here where everybody's traveling. One of the things we can also do is change whether it's a rectangle or a circle. I'm going to keep it as a circle for now. Uh, Diffid has a nice um, navy blue color scheme, so let's go ahead and uh, make them navy. We can choose how big it is um, and whether or not there's um, something around it. The duration of the ultimate um, Visualization, we could make 60 seconds if we wanted it to last for a while. That slows it down a little bit. As there's a lot of information on this particular visualization, we might want to make it slower. Uh, we can also choose the number of steps that are involved, and this does it in um, bytes, unfortunately. I would love to see something here where we could change the number of steps to 365 so it could really show day by day. But there we are, 256 is, closely, is pretty close. Um, we can also change how they blend if you have several kind of in a very similar vicinity, whether they uh, make it lighter, etc. And we can choose how long we want the tails to last. So that's how many steps does it take for a particular dot to fade out. 
I've now selected four steps so that that just kind of gives us a little bit of a sense as we go throughout. Uh, we can also change the resolution, and in this case I'm going to say don't try and cluster these uh, by nearby cities. If they're going to different cities, let's really make each point something specific. So we have a resolution of one. Now, as you can see, it's going here throughout and, and doing this. We can take it down to maybe 30 again. The one other thing that I would like to show you is that if you turn on cumulative, um, as it goes through, it will actually leave all of the different places that it's been. So that would generate a map for where Diffid has been over the last uh, year in its entirety. But I'll just keep it on, keep that off for now, and what we get is a map of everywhere that Diffid has traveled in 2011.